There's a spike in pedestrian deaths. National statistics show that, and South Carolina is one of the deadliest states for walkers. This comes as tourism season is kicking into full gear here in the low country, which means more people are out on the roads. That includes drivers and walkers. News 2's Sophia Arizosa breaks down the numbers. Come spring in Charleston, you can count on crowded streets. It's chaos, honestly. It's a pretty uh, organized mess. Be it traffic, people, and unlikely forms of transportation. When you put this many hundreds or thousands of people out here, it's a little bit you have to pay attention. Add those factors to an intersection and you can get trouble. Accidents, people can get killed. You could break your legs, wind up in the hospital, and you could lose everything. Studies show crossing the street on foot is growing more dangerous by the year. Oh, a car just sped by while two people were walking right by just inches away. There were nearly 6,000 pedestrians killed in 2016. This is not worth it. An 11% increase from 2015. Add that to a 22% increase the year prior, and you have an alarming jump. You know, people just today don't pay attention. Experts say the problem is twofold. More cars on the roads due to an improved economy and lower gas prices, and more people walking because of a greater emphasis on health. Everyone's like not really paying attention to what they're doing because they're all trying to get somewhere else. The study also cites distractions as a major factor. Uh, people definitely aren't fully paying attention, especially if they're on vacation. South Carolina ranks the third state with the most pedestrian deaths per capita. The danger today is people are texting. A problem Dan Wood says needs to be fixed. Don't text and drive and don't text and walk. Definitely a reminder that both distracted driving and distracted walking can lead to problems. Some states are putting in crosswalks lit on the ground so that if one is looking down at their device, they can get alerts about when the light is changing. Reporting in studio tonight, Sophia Arzoza, News 2.